Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I'm back in the garage. And did you see that wonderful snow that we're having here in the United Kingdom? Not seen snow in the United Kingdom since uh, since the Napoleonic Wars, but uh, we're having a belly full of it at the moment. It must be something to do with global warming. So what are we doing today? Well, I thought because the weather is so bad, because it's so cold, so much snow, there's been so much rain, I thought it'd be a good idea to give you some of Julian's tips that is going to help you ride better and safely and be warmer and more protected when you're riding in bad weather. Now, some of these things are, are quite cheap. You can knock them up in your garage or your front room. Uh, some of them you might have to spend a few bob on, but all of them put together, we're going to give you a fabulous experience. And if you can only manage just a couple of the items, well, get them because they're going to make a real difference. So let's get right stuck in. I'm going to start off with this bad boy, as they say. Now this is a, this is a fan heater and uh, it puts out a real blast of air and you think well what am i supposed to do with that julian well what you do with it is you take it with you in the bad weather because it's a special fold-up fan heater this is the fold-up version here you see i'll hold it up to the camera that's the fold-up fan heater so you open it up like that and you put the various bits together and there you are, it's a fan heater. Uh, it runs off um, runs off one of those kind of USB chargers. It does take quite a lot of power. Uh, I've managed to get four seconds of heat. Uh, and once I even got six seconds when I stopped at a cafe stop. So that's the first thing, a fold up fan heater. The next item, hunting around, is a set of mud guards. Now these are really going to protect you uh, in the rain and the snow because all the all the slush and all the, the, the wetness, you know what I'm talking about, it comes up from the road and it gets onto your clothes and it makes them really cold. But if you've got a set of mud guards, then that's going to sort you out. Now you can either uh, put your mud guards on before you go out and ride, or you can do what I did and get a special fold up set of mud guards. And here we are, we're just folding them up. And there we are, they fold up into a little package just like that, holding it up closely for you there. So you get to, you, you're riding along, it starts to rain, uh, you get out your fold up mud guards, you take them out of the packet, put them together and boom, there you are, you're ready to go and you've protected yourself in the bad weather. So that's not a bad idea. Now, when you're out walking, of course, what do you have with you? Well, you have an umbrella. So why not take an umbrella when you go cycling? And here we are, I've got an umbrella. Now it's real bad luck. Uh, so the old wife tells me, uh, to open an umbrella in the house. So I'm only going to open it briefly just to show you how it operates. So there we are, I'm going to have tremendous bad luck now. But as you can see, I'm pretty protected from the rain. And you see, I'm not getting wet at all. So, and when you're wondering, well, how do I, how do I use it when I'm riding along? Well, if you put it down your jersey like that, then... That's all right. You may have to hold it up with two hands or one hand. So you've got one hand on the handlebars. But so long as you do that, you're well protected from the rain. Now, I'm going to close this up quickly because otherwise it's really bad luck. Now, a lot of your heat, and uh, I read somewhere that 110% of the heat is lost through the top of your head. So what you need to do is protect the top of your head. Now, what I do is I wear a, a beanie hat like this, uh, which I bought from my friend Sarah Beanie. So I wear that first. Then I put then I put my helmet on, and here's a helmet. So I'm just gonna put this on like that. So I put my put my helmet on, see doing up under the chin, and then I have a second beanie. This is called Sarah Beanie's second beanie, and that one just, sometimes you have to stretch it a little bit, doesn't always work perfectly, but when you put that on your top of your head, then you, what you what we've got, we've got what we call triple, triple protection, so we've got the, the top protection, we've got the helmet protection, and then we've got the, I'm going to just undo this, we've got the under helmet Sarah Beanie protection. So that's not bad. Now on the same principle, 
Uh, sometimes I even use a fourth one, like this. I got one free from uh, Cycling Plus. So there we are. We do the, the four beanie, the four beanie helmet bag. I call that. The other thing, and, and along the same lines of of multiple protection, and that's doubling up or tripling up or even quadrupling up on your gloves. So I've got here a pair of gloves. This is one of them. Now this. I actually got this free uh, with Cycling Plus magazine. Funnily enough, there's actually more to read on the glove than there was in the magazine, but that's another story. And then we, then we have a second glove here, and uh, this one is a little bit tight. This is a Bond Trager glove. So there, now we've double gloved. Can you see that? We've double gloved. And now what I'm going to do, and this is what you do in the really bad weather, is I'm going to, I'm going to triple triple glove this one's a bit bit tight so sometimes you end up kind of riding along just like that you've got a kind of sock puppet there it can make it a little bit difficult to change the gears so what i find is if i need to use the brakes or i need to change gear then what i do is i take the outer glove off uh, and that allows me to to change the brake or operate the brakes and then if i take this the second outer glove off uh, then that enables me to operate the gears and then if necessary I take this glove off and then I can do whatever else I need to do on the bike. So the triple glove system that works that works really well. You can use the same kind of principle uh, for your feet although you don't you don't triple glove your feet or triple sock. Uh, what I do uh, and what my friend Ian from the old Portland Cycling Club does as he wraps cling film uh, around his his feet. This is uh, this is cling film. I don't know if you've noticed when you have a roll of cling film that actually trying to find the end of the roll uh, is really difficult. So I've actually owned uh, this particular roll of cling film for uh, the last ten years, but I can't use it anymore because I can't get the cling film off. So if you can't use the cling film, um, an alternative is to use silver foil. So wrap your feet in silver foil, uh, then put your socks on, uh, then wrap your socks in silver foil, then put your shoes on, then wrap your shoes in silver foil, and then put a pair of shoe covers over your shoes. And that works very well. If you haven't got cling film or aluminium foil, you can, as a, as a last resort, uh, use greaseproof paper uh, and that works fairly well and one of the sorry for this wrapping time one of the advantages of using I'll hold that up to the camera there grease, grease proof paper one of the advantages of using grease proof paper uh, is if you then come back from a ride and you fancy uh, I don't know some nice a nice pastry dish you can take the grease proof paper uh, off your feet you can line your your pie dish with it you can make your short crust or your your long crust or whatever it is and there you are you're all set to make to, to make your uh, uh, your pie for your lunch now the next item and this has been one of my favorite items and you can get these quite cheaply uh, this is well this is a hot water hot water bottle um, in this rather rather attractive pink uh, casing this is the classic uh, Rafa pink uh, this this particular version is 99 pounds but you can buy them cheaper uh, in Wilco or places like that for, for a pound or, or sometimes you can get them in the pound shop for one pound fifty but a hot water bottle with one of these very attractive pink cases and one of these bubbles so you, you're saying to yourself well Julian where am I supposed to to put uh, the hot water bottle when I'm on the bike. Well, you get what's called a hot water bottle cage, and that is a special cage. It's like a, I haven't got one here at the moment. I've got one order from Wiggle. Um, it's like a, a normal bottle cage, only it's specially designed for the hot water bottle. So it goes down there uh, between your legs while you're cycling along, and that keeps you, keeps you nice and warm. So it really works pretty effectively, I think you'll find. Now, the next thing, and we're moving along quite quite swiftly here. This is a gel. Uh, you're familiar with a gel. Now, this is a particular, this is a special gel. This is a heat gel. And what you do with this before you go out on the ride, 
uh, you put this in the microwave for uh, two and a half, two and a half minutes, and that makes it nice and warm, nice and hot. And then when you're going along on your ride, you open it up and you've got hot gel. Now imagine that you've got this really hot, sticky, uh, gloopy, uh, revolting stuff substance, but it's full of carbohydrates, it's full of sugar, and it's warm. So that's really beneficial. The other thing you can get is these special heated hydro tabs. And these are like the normal um, uh, tabs that you would put into your, uh, your, your, your bottle, not your hot water bottle, that, was, that, that would be a different thing. So you take one of these special tabs, sorry, this is a new packet here, so I'm just struggling to open it. So you take one of these special tabs, right, and you put that tab in your water bottle uh, you fill it up with water and this tab heats the water. So you end up with hot water, uh, hot water in your bottle and that keeps you nice and warm. Uh, what I like to do is I use my, my bottle, I use a hydro tab and then I have half coffee and half tea uh, in the bottle because I like to have uh, tea first thing and then when I get to the coffee stop, I've still got about half a bottle of coffee uh, left in the bottle and that's really nice. Um, the next thing that you can do is protect your feet with these, oh, I've got them somewhere here, um, Duke of Wellington boots. Um, Duke of Wellington was a, a prolific inventor during his lifetime. Uh, he invented the, the boots that bear his name. Uh, he also invented the, the meal, the beef wellington that you may be familiar with. And these are very good, particularly in the wet weather or the, or the snowy weather. They're also called uh, chewing gum boots. And in the US and Canada, places like that, they're called bubble gum boots because they used to be made in the last century. Uh, people used to get, you know, when you get the, the chewing gum and the bubble gum on the sidewalks or the pavements, as we call them here in the United Kingdom. And people used to uh, people used to be employed uh, to get those bits of chewing gum and bubble gum off the sidewalks. And then they were sent uh, to the bubble gum boot factory and they were made into the famous Wellington boots. They didn't do that anymore. Uh, they're, made of, they're made of rubber now, special, special rubber substance. So... I think you've got a number of ideas there that are really going to keep you warm on the bike. But there's one final thing, and this is one of those back in the day things. You will remember, um, and it still occasionally happens on the Tour de France or the Giro, uh, the riders, they get to the top of a mountain, and just before they descend, somebody hands them up uh, a, a newspaper. This is, uh, this is actually a Daily Telegraph, which is not a newspaper that I would normally read, but, but you know, for, for various reasons I had to purchase one. And they would put this under their jersey like that, and that would help protect from the wind. Now, I've, I've moved that on a couple of, couple of paces, and what I like to do is use cycling magazines. So what I do is I use Cycling Plus under my base layer. So I like to feel Cycling Plus against my skin. Then I put my base layer on and then I use Pro Cycling. Yes, I like to have Tau Gagan Heart uh, next, to my, next to my body. So then I put my jersey over that. So I've now got, I've got Cycling Plus uh, against my skin. I've got Tau Gagan Heart against my base layer. And then on my jersey, I use Rouleur magazine. So then I wrap my jersey around me like that. Now I find that really, really helpful. Rouleur, uh, this is quite a thick issue. This is 144 pages uh, this month. This is uh, uh, incidentally, this is a special women's issue, been uh, edited by Orla Shenwei, and I can uh, highly recommend this. I think it's brilliant. And if I can make one suggestion, Ruler, why don't you let her edit your magazine from now on? One other thing that I occasionally do, uh, and, and this applies in the United Kingdom, is I use the Radio Times. Now, I'm sure in other countries, US, uh, Indonesia, Holland, for example, uh, you have your own version of the Radio Times. Uh, it's a little bit misleading. It's called the Radio Times, but it actually tells you what's on the television. It also tells you what's on the radio, but uh, a little bit confusing. 
But if you use the Radio Times and you use the current issue, which this is, this is uh, Romesh Raghunathan, by the way, who's a famous comedian I've never heard of. And if you use the Radio Times, then when you stop at the coffee stop, you can have a look and you can see uh, what's on the, the, uh, the television. So if I just have a look at this, this is uh, this week's. So Tuesday, today is Tuesday. So this evening we can watch uh, Interior Design Masters with Alan Carr. Uh, we can watch Mrs. Brown's Boys, one of my favourite programmes. Uh, we can watch, um, uh, what's this, uh, South Africa with Greg Wallace, uh, again, one of my least favourite presenters. And we can watch First Dates, uh, a programme which I hope to learn some lessons from one day. So there you are. There is a number, I think we've got 11, 12, 13 reasons uh, or 13 methods that are going to help you keep warm uh, and safe uh, in the snow. But my final suggestion, my final suggestion is when the weather is, uh, when the weather is really bad, right, uh, won't be a moment, when the weather is really bad, uh, don't, don't go out in the rain at all. <laughs> don't go out in the snow at all. Why would you, why would you want to go out in this weather? You're mad. You're going to freeze to death. And if you, even if you don't freeze today, you're going to fall over on the ice, you're going to break your stupid neck. I mean, just just stay indoors. Why, why, do, why do you even have to bother going out in the rain and the snow and the bad weather? Because, look at this, you know who that is? Yes, that is Julian on Zwift. Yes, <laughs> I don't ride outside anymore. So all these ideas, I just throw them out there. I give them to you for nothing. Um, but if you want to, yes, you know you want to. If you want to buy a T-shirt, this T-shirt, so that you can echo what Julian says about Rafa 500 and about Strava, nobody cares. I'll put a link on this video and you can buy a T-shirt and amaze all your friends. So thanks for watching and see you next time.